Hey guys, this is Mike. Uh, we just went ahead and sold a very rare uh, Techniques 33 band equalizer. Um, and I'm going to show you basically how I box things up. Um, let me go and show you the unit. It's actually a beautiful unit. It's a, a very rare 33 band Techniques equalizer. But what makes it really unique is that, let me go ahead and flip it around is that the unit is actually made in Japan, but also it is a Japanese unit. So if you can see all the characters on it and everything else, it's very, very cool, very, very rare, very, very unique. And um, I'm just gonna show you how I box things up. First of all, what we do is with the cord, just so the back doesn't get scratched, I went ahead and just took some bubble wrap and wrap the cord up nice and tight so that way when it sits up against the body of the um, of the equalizer it won't scratch it at all um, there's several layers that we put on our units when we go ahead and ship them out and it could be a, a, a piece of a stereo equipment um, it could be um, uh, speakers whatever else we basically double box everything uh, on this particular unit because the type of unit it is and everything else I'm going to be using, it's almost like a, a, a sheet of, of foam, very, very thick foam. And then I'm going to go and wrap it up in some bubble wrap too. Uh, start from the back, go and pull it nice and snug and tight. And then we're going to wrap that sheet around the front of it, just like so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, fold this in over the top of it. Main reason why I'm folding it over the top is because the way the box is designed when I show you there's going to be more padding in the bottom of the box so I want to give a little bit more cushion to the top. I want to make sure it's folded over so we get all the edges and everything else so the edges are really uh, secure. I'm going to go ahead and add some tape to it. And then as we add the bubble wrap, all of this is going to go ahead and just fold in nice and neat. Let's go ahead and pull our bubble wrap over. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and split the unit down the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and do one half of it. And I'm going to go ahead and overlap the bubble wrap a little bit and do the other half of it. I'm going to start with one side. And it's almost just past that halfway marker. I'm going to fold all that foam in on the corners and so forth so it's nice and tight. Just like so. Now the thing about it is on the bubble wrap, I'm going to do it a few times this way and then I'm going to do it the lengthwise also. Turn it around, do the other half. And perfect. That way we can tuck these corners in and get it nice and tight. And fold it in. Everybody has their different methods of packing and so forth. I like uh, using the bubble wrap. Uh, actually, I like doing multi, multiple layers of things, also with paper. Um, when we get to the box, I've actually reinforced the box with something really, really, really cool. Now we're going to go ahead and flip it around. So now we're going to do the lengthwise of it. What's cool about bubble wrap is when you're doing it, now this doesn't quite cover the whole entire side and top. So when, I, when I'm working it, I'm going to go ahead and start moving it over to the side so it covers both sides of it nice and tight. I'm 
I'm going to put more bubble wrap this way than I did side to side, and I'll explain the reason why is when it's in the box, the length of it has more space on each side of the box the way I designed it. Never be stingy on your bubble wrap, especially on your expensive electronics and so forth. Cool. Put some tape on there. Love my eBay tape. Okay. So now we have that old bubble wrap ready to go. Yeah, let me grab the box and I'll show you the box I built for it. Okay, what I did was you have your, your normal oversized, what I did was much larger than the actual unit box. Um, depth wise, wall wise, everything else, so you have enough space to get cushion on each side. So in case something penetrates the cardboard or something else, it's not going to hit the unit. What I did especially for this one because of uh, this particular unit, because how rare it is, I went ahead and put, it's actually, it's called a Pro Pack. Very, very dense foam. I can't even remember where I picked this thing up at, but I have several of these I use, especially for, you know, the high-end electronic stuff. Very, very super dense foam. How dense is it? Uh, I've taken a large Bowie knife to this thing and tried to stab it and cut it and everything else. Very, very dense, very hard to penetrate. So you have this complete shell all the way through, even in the bottom, and it's this thick all the way around and also on the bottom. Also, what's cool about this design is, is that the box actually tapers in at the bottom. So the unit's gonna be nice and snug down here uh, you're going to have uh, nice air gaps on the side filled with paper all the way around it and even in the chamber here. So you have that space so once again if something penetrates the cardboard it's not going to make it through the dense foam. reason why we went ahead and did the uh, extra uh, padding on the bottom uh, is because we put the extra bubble wrap on the top part of the unit. So now we're going to go ahead and take our unit and drop them right in there so he's nice and snug. It's actually, a, it's not a really, really super tight fit. It's just a snug fit. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. So now we have a nice snug fit. Now what we're going to do is, remember I told you you have those more spaces on each end. That's the lengthwise. So what we're going to do is we're going to take extra paper. Okay. We're going to take extra paper and put it on the side. So there's going to be like zero movement in this box whatsoever. Now this box, actually this unit's going a short distance. We ship globally and everything else. Um, I don't care if I'm shipping it down the block or if I'm shipping it, you know, over overseas. I'm packing everything identical. Um, I just want to make sure it gets there safe. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fill in all our gaps. We're going to add more paper on the top, but I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of what it looks like. Now what we did was we have um, the bubble wrap, the dense bubble wrap on top. We have the paper on the bottom of the thick uh, the, um, uh, foam. The foam is like almost like a, a super dense cooler. And what we're going to do is we're going to add paper to the top. Then I actually made a lid for it. We're going to add more paper to the top. Probably, I'll go one more sheet. So now we have all that paper on the top. What I did was, on the cardboard lid, um, took a really thick piece of cardboard. Okay, um, This has that uh, glossy picture stuff on it, so it's actually more dense, harder to cut too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the shiny side up. 
Now I cut the piece of cardboard to where it actually sits just on the rim of that foam container. Uh, so it's going to work as a lid and also uh, uh, make the top stronger. Um, now we're going to be adding in and folding in the sides of the box. And as we fold in the sides of the box, you're adding another layer of cardboard on top. So we have the cardboard lid, which is dense. Now we're adding the second layer onto it, which is making it double cardboard dense. Now we're adding the third and final layer, and all of these uh, panels that I'm folding in are overlapping each other. So once it's tight and we go ahead and cinch it up and we take down our sides and so forth, um, short of a nuclear explosion, uh, I think this thing's going to make it. A uh, couple things um, that we have is we have the air pockets on the bottom where it is. So if anything penetrates it, we have that extra paper all the way around the inside of the box. Okay. Then we have the foam insert box. Then we have the unit bubble wrapped inside. Then we have the paper surrounding the bubble wrap inside. Then we have the paper on the top. Then we have three layers of the cardboard on top. To kind of give you an idea how strong this box is uh, without the unit in it, and just that the foam uh, uh, insert that I made for it, that cooler, the Pro Pack, and the three layers of cardboard. I weigh about 200 pounds. I can stand on top of that completely empty, no flex, nothing at all. Obviously, I didn't do aerobics on it, but uh, very, very, very strong. Uh, just wanted to kind of give you an idea how we pack stuff. Hope you enjoyed this short video, and I appreciate your time watching. Thank you.